really exciting happening in Paris right now. The baguette, which you think of as the national bread, is starting to be pushed by the wayside by these much more rustic loaves. This one is by uh, Thierry Breton, and you can see the crust is incredibly thick and crunchy. You can even hear it. What's interesting about it, too, is that it doesn't even come from, well, it comes from a bakery, but it comes from his own bakery. This is a chef who now has a bakery under one of his restaurants. I mean, you can just feel how much more rustic it is. And the crust, the all-important crust, a nice, thick, crunchy crust, and inside it's much earthier. The flavor is very rich, much more rich than baguette, heavier, but still worth every bite. This is the new trendy bread of Paris at the moment. Mm. This is Thierry Breton, who has two rest three restaurants in a corner in Paris in the 10th, and makes some of the best bread in town. He said to me that one of the reasons why this bread tastes so good, and I thought this was very poetic, when you make bread, if you make big, big batches, it gets much, much stronger than when you make a smaller batch, which is interesting, because you think of bread and community the fact that you do something miserly means you lose the taste, and when you do it for a big, a big, big batch, it actually makes the bread stronger and better tasting. Who knew? A friend of mine taught me a trick about how to tell when a bread is a real bread or not. You take it, you try this with some kind of bread from the grocery store, and you'll see what happens. You have the bread in your hand, you squish it into a ball, and then when you open it up, it rises again. It's alive. Thank you.